Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with our Sunday evening edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We've got, again, a lot to talk about for tonight. Not that much going on again for this evening, but as we go into around the course of the rest of the next couple of days, we're going to be looking for the potential of some more showers and thunderstorms out there, and that could involve the possibility of some severe weather as we go toward Tuesday. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you're just joining us and you've never been here before, this is our online video weather blog keeping you updated with what's going on with weather in the Mid-South area. We'll do our best to keep you updated on what's happening in North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and into around Eastern Arkansas. That's our main area. We'll try to answer any other weather questions that we may have out there for later on this evening. And again, as we get into the course of the rest of this next week, definitely a time to stay tuned to News Channel 3 as we keep you updated on what the potential for severe weather may be coming up here in the near future. If you have any reports for weather on this Easter Sunday evening, please make certain you drop those into the comments section. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, blue bar at the bottom of your screen showing the, the data text scrolling along. That'll give you an idea as to what's going on with the forecast. Or you can check out our 7 to 10 day forecast available here at WREG.com slash weather. So a ton of weather information just all over the screen here for right now and keeping you updated. That's what we do. Rest of the evening tonight, chances of showers, not a lot going on just yet. And again, into tonight, rainfall could be occurring at just about any point in time, but there's really not that much out there. Decently dry, hoping it stays that way again for everybody who's traveling out there for tonight, especially north of us. If you're heading up towards St. Louis late tonight or very early tomorrow morning, got some interesting weather to talk about. So stick around for more on that coming up here in just a little bit. Welcome to everybody who's joining us uh, for the show so far. And again, drop your location and your weather reports into the comments section, and we'll read off the weather reports out there to let you know more about what's going on. Vince Tetwan III, welcome from a friend of mine from Topeka West High School. Thanks a lot for dropping on by uh, for tonight from back in around Kansas City, Missouri. Thank you very much for tuning in, Vince, for this evening. And into the rest of the evening we go. Again, the rest of the Mid-South showing the possibility of more showers out there. Not picking up a lot. It's hazy. It's cloudy for the most part. We did get a little bit of sunshine out there for today, but we are seeing some fairly cool conditions out there. Poplar Pike, Germantown Road, the Towers of Poplar and Mendenhall into around Memphis and viewed from Germantown, Tennessee around the water towers north of Germantown High School. 52 degrees, breezy, northeasterly winds at about 14 miles an hour. That's got a little bit of a bite in the air out there for tonight. Not looking at the major problems out there. Uh, not in KC. Roads are slick. Okay, thank you very much, Vince, for checking on through uh, up that direction and stayed uh, safe up that direction with all that snow and all the mess that's taking place with that latest storm system up there. Uh, Again, thanks a lot for everybody checking in. Whitehaven 52, Amy Yeager, thank you very much for that. New Bern, Tennessee, Paulette Morrow, 47 degrees right now. Thank you very much. Uh, Brad Arnold, you saw the satellite. Uh, that's good. I'm assuming you didn't see Tian Gong 1 because that one's going to be crashing uh, pretty soon. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Collierville, 61 degrees. Uh, as of right now, Ronnie Williams, thank you very much for that one. And everybody else, a very happy Easter. Everybody for checking in for this evening. Live view of I-40 and Witten Road showing traffic a little heavy for Sunday evening, but at least everything's moving along at this point in time. And again, nothing coming down in the way of rainfall at this point. Likewise, down the road a little bit, I-240 and Poplar, traffic in all directions. Decently heavy for a Sunday night. Lots of people out and about for this evening as Easter begins to wind down across much of the area for tonight. A lot of church services still in progress and a lot of family gatherings and whatnot going on. So looking pretty good out there for the time being across the Mid-South. Storm Tracker 3S is not showing anything again directly in the metro area. We're looking at very quiet conditions in and around portions of the Mid-South. And we did have some scattered showers in northeast Mississippi earlier. Those are gone. Did have a little bit of activity around northeastern Mrs. Uh, Arkansas moving east across the Mississippi River. That is also gone. We have some very light showers taking place right around east of Dyersburg, close to Dyer, Tennessee, back to around McKenzie, Holiday, Lexington, Humboldt, everything moving on over to the east at this time, well to the northeast of the Memphis area. But Here's what's going on back to the north of us, and this is getting to be all sorts of fun up here. As you notice from Joplin and Springfield, it's kind of dwindling at this time. There's not that much left of it, but there's just enough cold air behind that latest cold front mixed in with the moisture to create not just rain, but rain mixed with snow, snow mixed with sleet, and we're also seeing 
a lot of lightning markers just south of I-44 in that area that's picking up sleet, freezing rain, and snow. So we've got thunder snow, thunder sleet, and a lot of other things like that going on in central Missouri. Incredible to see that happening. Basically, it's a thunderstorm that happens in a snowstorm, so or the ice storm, or whatever else that goes on up there. So we're getting a lot of interesting stuff happening here. This is not repeat, not on its way down to the Mid-South. I want to make certain that's very clear right now because I don't want to get any emails about, but I got my snow shovel ready to go. It's, yeah, you're not going to need that anytime soon, so sorry about that. 45 degrees in Brighton. Donna, Frank's Bur Donna Frank Burks, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Happy Easter to everybody checking on in uh, for the evening at this point in time. And let's see, St. Louis, light snow, some light ice earlier, just a dusting now, and still under a winter weather advisory. Amy Hayes, thank you very much uh, for tuning in and for letting us know about that. Say hello to my friends Steve and Judy Newell and their kids up around the uh, Manchester area in and around St. Louis. Uh, tornado chances for Tuesday. Brandy Merriman, we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Madison, Illinois, Demetrius Anderson, ice and snow. Thank you very much. Cloudy, 46, dew point, 43 degrees. Uh, winds 9 miles an hour in Berclair out of the west-northwest. Thank you, Grady Bennett, for that one. And a little bit farther to the east, Tullahoma, Tennessee. Haven't been that way uh, for since about 2010. Genus... Gina Suns, hope I'm saying that right, 64 degrees. Thank you very much uh, for checking in there. Currently around the Mid-South, again, it's cool. We're not seeing a lot of bone-chilling cold, but with those winds picking up every once in a while, we do have some pretty breezy conditions out there for the time being. Here's what it looks like again into tonight. News Channel 3 at 10. Not great chances. Again, the chances of rain on the leading edge of all this is moving into very dry air as that front across portions of the area just sort of wobbles back and forth for now. It's not going any place right at this time, but it will be pushing its way back to the north as a warm front later on tonight. And again, if you are going to be heading back to the north of us, this is where, well, I guess our tracking system, well, okay, hang on a second. Computers being cranky, one of my least favorite things. Okay. Try this again, just for a second here. This is what we're looking at. Thank you very much. Hello, computer. Numbers back again, back to the north of us through tonight. If you're traveling north on I-55, rain mixed with snow. Could be some slick travel conditions up this direction. So Rolla, St. Louis, Arnold, Herculaneum, anything north of Cape Girardeau, that is where I would be watching for that potential causing a problem into later on. Now through tonight, colder north of I-40, a little milder south of I-40 is that dividing line, that front keeps the cold air back to the north. The green is where we're seeing chances of rainfall. Not great, but still possible and that'll continue right on in to very early tomorrow morning, right around drive time. So you could have some raindrops on the windshield. Remember, if it's daytime and your windshield wipers are operating, your headlights have to be on. that state law, so please keep that in mind as we go into tomorrow. Now, going a little further into the forecast, scattered light showers through Monday, maybe even a rumble of thunder. That should depart the area as we head into around midnight Tuesday, but then as we get into around Tuesday afternoon, say about the time the kids are getting out of school and right about the time we're heading toward dinner time on Tuesday evening, that's when our next storm system comes along. Winds out of the southwest ahead of this, Back to the northwest, we have the colder air coming on through. That's going to drop our temperatures into next week. But this is also where we see the potential for maybe some stronger storms coming our way. And that does include the possibility of maybe some isolated tornadoes out there. So definitely something to, for us to be watching at this time. Now the threat for the possibility of thunderstorms tonight, just thunderstorms, not severe weather. This is just a generic possibility of thunderstorms here. This is an updated map just within about the last uh, 60 minutes or so from the Storm Prediction Center. That's where we get these forecasts from, and you can get those online if you want to, and we'll post the address here at wreg.com slash weather. Generic possibility, just some rumbles of thunder tonight, but really not much more than that. Now, tomorrow's that warm air heads on in. The threat for severe weather goes well back to our north and passes basically right out of the Mid-South area, so we're not seeing anything in the way of thunderstorms here. But back to the north of us around St. Louis, I-70, back toward Indianapolis, we may see the potential of a marginal threat of severe weather. Now, that's Monday. Getting into Tuesday, we still see that potential and a pretty strong one. When you have this heavy indications this far out of what's going on with severe weather, this is a slight risk category 
for basically all of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Dyersburg, back toward Corinth and down toward Oxford and Mississippi. You're in a marginal threat, but here's the thing, you are still in a threat for severe weather. So all of the Mid-South sees that potential of maybe some severe weather out there. Looks like the main thing is going to be damaging winds and large hail, possibility of maybe some isolated localized heavy rainfall. But as of right now, we cannot rule out the possibility, and I know people don't want to hear about this, but you got to, we may see the potential of tornadoes out of this. So this is the time to get prepared for everything. Not trying to hype the weather. We don't do that here. We never have. We never will. That is just another TV station's opinion as to what exactly we do here. We do not hype weather. As a professional meteorologist, I don't do that. I let you know what's going on. The potential of what may happen in the atmosphere is what we're passing along here. So you can be ready at home, at school, at business, at your place of worship, wherever you're going to be. This is what you have to watch out for into Tuesday evening. Now this forecast will change into the next several days, either up or down. Either way, keep it tuned to the weather experts and we'll let you know more about what we're talking about here and how much this is going to be. But again, Tuesday afternoon, into around Tuesday night, I would say roughly starting around dismissal time for the kids and then continuing into dinner time and around Tuesday night around News Channel 3 at 10. That's the conventional weather wisdom right now, but that will change into the next couple of days, so definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. Temperatures into tomorrow going back into the mid-60s with some showers and thunderstorms possible across portions of the area looking pretty mild out there for right now. Back in the mid-70s and again as we head into and around portions of the area toward about Tuesday afternoon. That's where we see the best possibility of thunderstorms coming our way, and some of those could be on the stronger side, and that's what we're going to be watching out for. Now, after this big sweep of cold air making its way all the way on down into and around the area for right now, uh, let's see, where is this at? It looked like some of Arkansas, but don't show we getting rain. Uh, Stacy Dixon, this is the Mid-South area. We cover eastern Arkansas, west Tennessee, and northern Mississippi from Memphis, and that's the main area of the Mid-South that we cover here. So basically around the area east of Little Rock and farther north of Oxford, Mississippi, and south of Dyersburg and the Boot Hill is where we keep an eye on that for there uh, in and around the area here. But welcome to the show. Thank you very much uh, on that one. Thanks to everybody else for the very kind words, keeping an eye on there. Randy Huggins, temperature tomorrow, again, pretty mild back in the mid-60s. The farther north you are, the cooler it's going to be. The farther south you are tomorrow, the warmer it'll be just south of the Memphis metro area as well uh, into tomorrow. Emma Boozer, need more days like today. Yeah, it was pretty nice out there. No question about that for right now. Cheryl Beasley Wilson, sister in Kansas City, Mo, got some snow today. And I believe uh, Vince Tetwan can uh, verify that as well uh, from up that direction in and around northeast Kansas. So a little bit of that going on as this latest storm system passes on through. Now, much cooler as we go into Wednesday, some 20 degrees cooler by Wednesday. Now, the thunderstorm chances will be pre-dawn hours on Wednesday, very early Wednesday morning, and then the skies begin to clear out. So it looks like right now, if everything works, cross your fingers on this one, we should see from Wednesday, most of Thursday, most of Friday, clear skies where it comes to anything involving rainfall. More clouds, more rain as we go toward Friday, and that again is going to be in the evening. More showers and thunderstorms for next Saturday, clearing out as we head toward next Sunday, and then afterwards, <clears throat> excuse me, Temperatures back in the upper 50s once again, so a little cooler out there. Normal for this time of the year is about the lower to mid 60s, so that's pretty close to spot on for right now. And then clearing out by just a little bit by the time we hit the early part of the second week of April, so that's looking pretty good. But once again, this is where I would be concentrating on for right now, keeping track of what's going on with the weather uh, in tune around the area for the time being. Aaron Welch Parks, rain tomorrow in Atoka. Again, not looking at a huge amount, but there is going to be that potential for showers across West Tennessee into and around that area. So please keep in mind that if you're going to be driving out there. But Tuesday, that's going to be our best chance of getting anything out there in the way of thunderstorms. Live tracking the Chinese space station Tiangong-1. It's going to be hours, maybe even minutes before this thing comes down. The Chinese space agency is estimating somewhere in the next couple of hours uh, as of about, again, 821 this evening, we are seeing the uh, satellites still in orbit at this point in time. Currently, it's right over at the edge of the screen. You can see it a little bit farther over 
uh, here, just right, matter of fact, right over uh, eastern China at this time. The altitude is getting much lower. It's about 136 kilometers up, and it's got to drop to about 100 kilometers when it starts encountering that drag from the atmosphere, and that's going to pull it downwards very quickly into the atmosphere, and it's going to burn up. Now, the main idea of thinking is that on the next couple of orbits, this is going to be making its way probably over the South Pacific and then or the Atlantic and burning up somewhere in this particular area. Maybe on the next orbit, it's getting very low at this point in time, but the orbit here does not take it anywhere near the Mid-South. Add to that, it's pretty cloudy out there, so the chances of us actually seeing anything from this crash taking place pretty soon is going to be pretty much nil, so we're not going to be able to see that. Add to that, your odds of getting hit by anything involving debris, as I talked about earlier today with Nina Harrelson on daybreak, your odds of getting hit by any space debris, one in several trillion. So you really don't stand much of a chance of getting knocked in the head by an old piece of a satellite that burned up in the atmosphere. But your odds, and think about this, your odds of getting struck by lightning in a calendar year, as opposed to that we just said about one in several trillion, your odds of being struck by lightning is about one in 725 not 725 trillion, about 1 in 725. So you stand a very good chance of getting struck by lightning being outdoors during the summertime. This is nothing, nothing really to worry about here when it comes to getting hit by this. We'll see more about this into the uh, area for tonight, into tomorrow morning. If we get any updates on this, we'll tell you about it coming up on social media, so stay tuned for our channel updates on that. Also, the last two Skywarn Spotter meetings have been posted for the spring semester coming to a close last week had about 110 people at the Memphis one so thanks to everybody who came out for that and learned all about severe weather with the Skywarn program Tuesday April 3rd this Tuesday Tipton County Brighton, Tennessee at the Emergency Operations Center on Highway 51 South. And the last one coming up in a couple of weeks, this had to be rescheduled from a severe weather event that happened a few weeks ago around Helena, West Helena, Arkansas, Wednesday, April 18th at 6.30 p.m. Bonner Student Center at Phillips Community College. And again, that'll be the last two on there. Now, you can take the course online. If you'd like to know more about that, email me. If you'd like to be a storm spotter, you'd have to register, but it's free. So a good way to take it online. Or next classes will be offered by the National Weather Service coming up in the fall semester, starting in about roughly October, somewhere in there. So if you'd like to know more about becoming a volunteer storm spotter, we could use your help. So please consider becoming a spotter. It would really help us out on there. More of my forecast available throughout what's left of the weekend on country. 92.5, Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. James R. Gulledge, nice view of lawn mowing weather yesterday in Humble, Tennessee. Thank you very much for that. TN underscore weather, beautiful view from uh, Carroll County Recreation Lake from March, uh, Saturday evening, looking very beautiful, nice sunset there. And Memphis underscore Tom, traveling at Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, beautiful view of the palm trees on Easter Sunday morning. Beautiful shot there. If you've got pictures, we'd love to feature them. Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter. Aonic no underscore necessary on Instagram. And, of course, on my Facebook page at Austinonic WREG at this time. Bobby Curtis Shehorn, are we going to have rain? Not really tonight, but we are not seeing anything in the way of major conditions for rain tonight. Tomorrow, better chances, best chances of rain will be coming up on Tuesday. So uh, Bobby Curtis Shehorn, depending on your location, will be getting more chances of rain tonight, especially north of I-40. Uh, Vince Tetwan, what are we using to track this, the system? The information is actually coming to us from ground tracking stations on Tiangong-1, and that information coming from uh, NASA and the European Space Agency, and of course, the Chinese Space Agency, keeping track as to what they're looking at this point in time, and their estimations are put in there as well, uh, continuing to sink down to about 134 kilometers, so it's hours away before Tiangong Wong at 1 actually crashes out there. We'll keep you updated on that. Todd Demers will have more on your forecast bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak, and of course, I'll keep you up to date through News Channel 3 at 10. Mike Sadie's got a busy day in sports. The NCAA Tournament Championship is ready to go. He'll have more on that. Kristen Holloway has all the day's news, and of course, all of your forecasts going on in 
into the course of the rest of the week, so stay tuned for more there. Elvis Etheridge, good evening from Ripley. Cloudy and 48 degrees. Thank you very much for the weather report from Ripley, and thanks to everybody else uh, for joining us. And all great questions for tonight. Thank you very much for checking in and asking questions to uh, see what's going on uh, into and around the Mid-South area for right now. Stay tuned for more. If you got questions, concerns, suggestions about what we can feature on here, complaints, if you absolutely must, you can email me again at austin.onic at wreg.com. Would love to know what you're thinking, so send it along to us and love to have you along for the ride on that. And please send in the pictures. The more we have, the more we can feature and love to have you along for the ride on that as well. Stay tuned for more coming up in about 10 minutes on my Facebook page. We'll have updates on whether where the troops are. Our little salute to everybody serving in the military and everybody on the home front checking in with weather to see what goes on. And of course, more coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for tonight's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. <laughs>